five time world champion and boxing's hottest attraction, Gervonta Tank Davis defends his WBA lightweight title against mandatory challenger Rolando Romero. We're bringing one of the sport's biggest box office stars. Two undefeated fighters in a matchup for the ages battle for the 135 pound title at the Barclays Center in Brooklyn. Because it's a grudge match for respect. Originally scheduled for December, Romero was pulled due to sexual assault allegations. Davis went on to defeat Issa Cruz by unanimous decision as Romero's legal issues were getting sorted. With no charges filed, the fight was back on and the mud slinding between the two fighters has been relentless. There's no more talking, the time is here. Davis is one of boxing's fastest rising stars with a 26-0 record and 24 knockouts. What an incredible... Oh, oh it's down! Goes Gamboa! Romero is aiming to usurp Davis and prove that he is boxing's next big star. Tank's gonna get knocked down one round, just like that. Both have promised knockouts and considering their respective histories, it's likely that one of them will be correct in their prediction. Gervonta was a decorated amateur boxer, winning the 2012 Golden Gloves as a bantamweight. He became a professional fighter in February 2013 and he made a name for himself as an awkward specialist. 16 of Davis' 24 knockouts have happened in the first three rounds. However, the last time he finished an opponent that early was back in 2019 against Ricardo Nunez. It took him 12 rounds to stop Yuriorkis Gamboa, 11 to end Mario Barrios and 6 to polish off Leo Santa Cruz. In December, Davis defeated Tisa Cruz by unanimous decision but the powerful South Post rugged challenger provided Davis toughest test in 26 professional fights. Davis' speed and power are undeniable as his talent has his ceiling a lot higher than Romero's. The 26-year-old Las Vegas native has compiled a perfect 14-0 record and has enjoyed heavy backing at the sports books including his unanimous decision win over Jackson Marines that earned him the interim WBA lightweight title almost two years ago. And like Davis, Romero has established himself as a knockout specialist, with 12 of his 14 career wins coming by knockout, including 8 victories inside 2 rounds. <laughs> While Romero is coming into this fight brimming with confidence, it has to be understood that he is facing his toughest opponent yet and by a long way. The Las Vegas native hasn't fought anyone of Davis caliber and his decision win over Marines in August 2020 was widely panned. If he truly is going to be a star in the sport, this is the chance for him to show it. Davis, meanwhile, has been tested much more often than Romero. He dominated a junior lightweight before moving up to the 135 pounds division, and no fighter has yet solved his combination of power and tricky southpaw combinations. I'm maturing, I'm, I'm still learning as I walk this path. Romero might be inclined to copy his strategy and go right after Davis hoping to throw him off his game and make him feel the sting of his punches early on. Rody almost knocks out everybody in sparring. You know, he's got a great left hook, great right hand, and I think that uh, this is a very dangerous fight for Tank. Romero has the bigger frame, but Davis is more well-rounded fighter. 
because both guys have knockout power, so I, I think it's a 50-50. If Davis has the right game plan and mentality going into this fight, he should be able to come up with a win. I think Javante Davis is going to knock him out. Look for an aggressive Romero to try to rough up Davis early on, only to see himself get outclassed in the middle rounds and suffer a stoppage loss. I don't think he's awkward. I just think that he, he's, he's a fighter that just started fighting. Because of Romero's aggressive style, analysts are predicting a clash early on. It won't go 12 rounds, I can guarantee you that. Davis will test his chin early and if Rolly can handle the champ's power, we'll see a fast night. Davis has the ability to find openings that other boxers miss. His hand speed is fantastic and he utilizes a kind of lolling effect to convince people they are safe when they aren't. He finished Santa Cruz by uppercut, one of Davis' best tools in counter-punching against orthodox fighters that use a cross often. Davis likes to use leaping hooks and shift steps against taller fighters. He's easy to hit, and I punch hard. Harder than everybody he's ever fought. Against Barrios, Davis closes the distance with aggression, repeatedly downing Barrios with gazelle hooks. I know for sure it's going to be a hell of a fight. Betting on Gervonta Davis is betting on his power, but also his accolades. Yeah, I'm the top guy of 135 or 130 or 140. Romero is a fantastic athlete and ring bully, but he'll meet his more technical counterpart on Saturday 